Hi guys, so um, I've literally just come on here. I haven't cleansed my face, I haven't moisturized. I just had some chips from McDonald's. I've been completely bumming it down for the past few days and amazing. We have a new very exciting launch in the makeup industry. I said to myself, this will be the one time that I actually go out and buy this stuff and come and talk to you about it within the same day and get it out to you. ASAP. I have been quite aware that there's going to be a, there was going to be a launch, a makeup collection launch, a collaboration with Fenty Beauty and um, Rihanna and I was super super excited about it because Rihanna is so stunning and her makeup is always so beautiful and I just was so excited to see what they would create and honestly the visuals and everything that came out from that, from the collection is just, it didn't disappoint at all. I am honestly so excited to be here with some of the products to try them out on camera with you guys. I think I've got like 9 things, 9 to 10 things, uh, so I haven't used any of it yet. I have swatched it in store, I went to Harvey Nichols this morning um, in Birmingham and I picked up some stuff um, and I am... Really excited for this. I'm catching a flight tomorrow, so I thought today I'll just sit down and film this really quickly for you guys and get it out to you quickly. By the way, so I fixed this these little boxes on the wall recently and I feel like they're slanted. Like when I look at them, they're not. But when I look at them through my viewfinder, they look really slanted. So I'm not sure. What do you guys think? I might have to fix that up. Anyway, let's get straight into... A little bit about the collection, a little bit about what the stuff I've bought, and then we're going to start trying them out. Now, first of all, before I start, I just want to say the visuals are just so stunning. Like, honestly, I'm really impressed with the visuals. I will, if you really want to see, like, I think there's a, like an advert or something. The models that they've used for the collection, for the campaign, are stunning and so representative of different people, which I absolutely loved. I mean, they have... Um, hijabi model they have all people from all kind of different skin tones backgrounds which is something you, you guys know resonates with me so much so i was super super proud to see that super happy to see that um so i went in to the store and i knew the first thing i wanted to get was the foundation excuse me i've got a bit of a cold and i can't really see anything by the way because i'm not wearing contacts but i knew the first thing i wanted was the foundation and um i picked up two shades which are actually quite similar and I might regret this but just because I wanted two shades from two different um, undertones um, and I wanted one to be a little bit warmer and a little bit deeper than the other because I do my skin tone does change a little bit um, I also picked up some of these what are they called? these are the match sticks and basically they're contour sticks, there's highlighters, there's, they've got all kinds of different shades in these. But I picked up four of these which I'm super excited to show you. Um, I picked up a lip gloss and uh, the Kilowatt in two shades. And I'm going to show you these in a sec because they're a bit different. And then they also gave me this palette thing which has all the shades of the foundation. And there's a primer sample and a sample of a few other shades that I don't have. It's just really cool. Now, um, one thing that everybody's been commenting on and something that is absolutely admirable for a brand in the makeup industry. And it's the fact that there's 40 shades of foundation within this foundation collection. This is the Pro Filter Foundation, that's what it's called. There are 40 shades of foundation. That is... I've never heard of any brand that has 40 shades of foundation, which is really, really amazing. They also have brushes, which I didn't purchase. These are the only things I did get. Um, so, yeah, I've also got my receipt here, so I can tell you guys all the prices of everything. Um, all in all, I really think that the pricing up is really cheaper than I expected, to be honest. Obviously, the thing that really matters is how... The products actually work on the skin so I'm gonna be using these products to create a look today of course my eyes and eyebrows are gonna be done with other branded products because I didn't really have I don't think they did any eyeshadows or anything like that so they're main they're mainly concentrating this 
collection mainly concentrates on com complexion, which is something I adore. So, I am really excited to see how this collection works on my skin. So I just went and did this eye makeup look and I did my brows and I haven't put anything on my skin. I moisturized early in the day, but that was like ages ago. And, and I'm not gonna do anything. I'm literally just gonna put the primer on and this primer came as a sample to me. I didn't actually purchase it and it came in this thing. So I'm gonna peel this off and prime my skin. Ooh. So it comes like this. this. This looks like food. I'm just so fat, like everything looks like food to me. So anyway, I'm taking the primer. I've also got the foundation in the shade 150, 220, uh, 340, and 420. So those are some foundation samples that I have. And I'm just putting this all over. It's getting all over my scarf. That's all right, just ignore that, guys. So this is the first video I film since I've been back from my travels. Focus. And, um... Well, I tried to film a video a few days ago, but I didn't really like it. I think I'm being a bit hard on myself just because I've been gone for such a long time and sometimes when you've gone, you're have gone, you gone for some, from something for such a long time, you feel really nervous to get back to it. And I think that's kind of the limbo that I'm currently in. Ooh, that's some concealer that I used for my brows. Um, by the way, the primer feels amazing. It's not... Uh, silicone or anything which is something I don't like with primers and it feels like a hydrating primer I'm definitely gonna have to get a hold of this primer at some point because I love how it feels on my skin it kind of feels like a moisturizer rather than a primer and it doesn't have a scent which I appreciate a lot because too much scent in makeup products really put me off now I'm super excited to try this foundation However, I'm a bit nervous as well. A friend of mine bought it this morning and it gave her the worst reaction on her skin. And her skin literally went all red. She has quite sensitive skin. My skin is kind of in the middle. It's not too sensitive and it's not too... But it still kind of reacts to some products. So I hope my skin does not react to this foundation because I'll get really upset. Be really sad. Oh my god, this primer feels amazing. It feels like silk on my skin. I'm gonna go straight into the foundation now. As I said, I'm really sorry with the filming if I look down and up and all of that, but I hope you guys have a good image of the foundation. Now, before I try this on, I bought two foundations just because um, I... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This primer has made my skin look so nice. I don't know if you can tell on camera but my skin suddenly looks first of all it's matte but not too matte and it looks so like blurred I don't know if you guys can tell bruh I'm gonna definitely need to get this primer now anyway back to the foundation I bought two bottles just because um I, my skin colour kind of changes every time I travel, and I travel quite a lot, so I wanted two foundations just to play around with the shades. Also, I appreciate that this found uh, one of the shades I got is quite yellow and orangey. The other one is a little bit more neutral, which is kind of something I enjoy a little bit more, but it is a bit lighter for me. So then I thought, why not get two to just kind of mix and match and mix them around and play around with them. So that's what I did. Now, a few bonuses with this foundation. First of all, the packaging is stunning. However, I feel like there's a little bit of inconsistencies with the packaging on the overall brand. I love the packaging, by the way, don't get me wrong. But I just wish, I wish there was the FB that they have on all the other products on the foundation. Because I have my foundations in a drawer and then... And to tell which foundation is which, I like to see like at the top of the foundation if they have the logo of the brand. Um, this one doesn't. I wish it did because all the other products that I have from uh, Fenty Beauty that I got today have got uh, an imprint. Is it called a print or something? Um, but either way, I love the packaging. It's got the frosted glass packaging. It is glass. It's not plastic. The lid is a white plastic. And also, another really great bonus, you get 
32 mils extra from a typical foundation. So you get 32 mils in this pot, in this foundation. Um, and I think this costs 25 pounds, I think. Let's double check, shall we? 26 pounds for this foundation, which is actually, I personally think it's quite cheap. Now, I think since, if I'm correct, this is the first time Fenty does makeup. If I'm not correct, I'm sorry. I haven't done a lot of research before this video, which is terrible. But I literally just wanted to come and film this. But if they've just started makeup, maybe they just wanted to start a little bit cheaper and then go a bit higher as things progress. But um, it's like 26 pounds is pretty decent. You have a pump, which is also amazing. I'm going to squirt a little bit of this on the back of my hand. And I want you guys to see. So this is three, three, th uh, 330. As you can see, it's a little bit liquidy, the consistency of the foundation. But it's not too liquidy. Like, it's dripping, but it's not really going all the way down. So this one is a little bit lighter. Definitely not my colour right now. So I'm going to just put that on my face. I'm going to select a foundation brush to use. These came in my P.O. box a few days ago, these brushes, by Amara. So I'm going to be using their Kabuki buffing brush to blend this in. Alright guys, so I don't really have any blemishes in where the foundation went right now, but it's blending really nicely. It feels really natural. Okay, tapping some product. Now I want to see how it covers my burn here. Ooh. By the way, foundation, same as primer, has no smell really. Wow, guys, that's one layer and it's almost pretty much covered up. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to give you guys a complete review on this foundation right now. But I will definitely try it out for a while. And get back to you guys about it as soon as I can. I love the consistency of this foundation. I'm really into natural finishes, and it's dried matte straight away. And it's it's not a dry type of matte. It's not a matte that's too drying. A consistency that's too drying. It's like a really natural matte, if that makes any sense. I feel like I've completely lost. I've completely forgotten how to describe things. Guys, please forgive me for the way I speak in this video. It's literally my first video, proper video filming since I've been back and I'm trying to get back with it. I've finished the foundation on my face. I'm going to put another uh, squirt of each one and mix them together again. Such a non-cakey foundation and I love how it sets. It does set quite quickly though. So if you're using this, you really need to work with it quickly. And I've just put another layer and it looks super, super natural. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look overdone. It literally just your skin but better. And these are the type of foundations I adore personally. I can put some on my nose. No scent. Again, I really appreciate that. And this colour really matches my arm. It is a little bit orange, which is not something I like. And it's because of this one. This one, re the undertones of this foundation really overpowers this one. However, I will work with it for now. Now, I didn't pick up a concealer from them, so I'm going to conceal my eyes using one of my own concealers. And I will be powdering, actually, I really don't think it's necessary to powder my skin. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be powdering my skin. I did put a little bit too much on my forehead. I wouldn't put this much foundation on my forehead usually, but work with it. It blends really nicely. It looks like skin. Like, look at that. It looks amazing. I am so in love with the finish of this foundation on my skin. Guys, what do you think? 
pause the video right now and write down in the comments what you think of the foundation on my skin, the consistency and the way and the finish. Oh, it looks amazing. This is like photography makeup. Oh, doesn't say anything about SPF on the packaging. So this is definitely like the perfect foundation for photo, photo shoots. And they have 40 shades, like that is crazy. Really impressed with that. Well done Fenty, well done Rihanna. This brush is amazing as well, by the way. Thank you so much, Amara. I'll put down their website. By the way, do you like the eyeshadow look I did? If you like it, let me know. I might do a video on it. I tried to do something that goes with the whole theme. Obviously, I haven't, you know, worn it or anything, so I can't really say too much. But so far, so good. I think finish is absolutely my right down my lane. And really good to layer as well, which is always a plus. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm in love. I'm going to conceal my under eyes using my own concealer. And to conceal, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Full Coverage Concealer, Waterproof. I don't know what shade this is. Ah, it's number seven. And I'm going to dot this here, here. Now, I really love this concealer because it sets really nicely and it's really brightening for me. This color is great for me. Concealer done. And I'm looking super, super flawless. My skin is looking hella flawless right now. I'm not going to set anything yet because I do like to set my concealer with a little bit of powder. I'm not going to do that yet because I want to have all the creamy stuff on my face to begin first before I do any setting. Now I'm going to contour and I got two contour sticks. I got one in mocha and one in truffle. Now the reason I got two is because one of them is a little bit lighter than the other and I like to play around in my contour colours. I don't like just using one shade. So this is what mocha looks like. And I'm going to show you guys some close-ups. And this is what truffle looks like. Um, I'm going to use the lighter shade which is mocha. Oh, by the way, I feel like I'm all over the place in this video. These cost £21 for these. Okay, so I'm going to use the lighter shade for my nose. I really hope this is the right shade. Oh, yes! Do you know when a contour product is so nicely cool toned? <gasps> oh my god, I'm so in love! <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, guys, sorry. Sorry for my reaction, but this is just the most amazing contour colour in the world. Oh my goodness. I'm the worst at contouring my nose, by the way, so please excuse. Oh my goodness, I'm in love with this color. I'm also gonna use this on my face, but I'm gonna go over with the dark one as well. So I'm just gonna go from the top of my ear. It's a little bit light on me, but it's all right, we can work with it, oh my gosh. I just love how cool toned it is. And I love how not too oily, creamy it is. Try not to blend it out too much so it just blends within the lines that I drew. It's good to use your fingers as well. And I'm gonna blend this here. Blends beautifully, can you guys tell? And look, can you imagine I don't have any powder on? I am so... Uh, I never not powder my face. This is the first time. I'm gonna take truffle which is the darker contour shade because I like a little bit more with my contour like you can if you want you can go like this if you have my skin tone and if you like natural if you like that natural contour you can just do this and you're good to go but me me I like drama I'm gonna use a little bit of that on the tip of my nose I don't even know what I'm doing honestly I'm sorry I'm shameful right now I don't know what I'm doing and then I'm gonna use the rest on my face, on my cheekbones. How beautiful is that color? This is such a stunning contour color. I'm only putting a little bit at the top, by the way, as you can see. I've never really been so into contour sticks before, but these I am gonna abuse. I know this already. And they're so, they blend seamlessly. Look at that. 
seamless, I tell you. Oh my goodness, I am. I'm so in love, look at that. Look. <laughs> oh my goodness, the way my skin is looking so flawless right now. I am in love. I'm going to put a little bit more of truffle, which is the darker one, on the sides of my forehead, just because I have quite a wide forehead. So just blend, 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 blend. Using my Real Techniques face, expert face brush. And again, these don't even need powdering because they blend so flawlessly. Like you wouldn't even... Rihanna, you did well. I'm just going to take a little bit of my concealer. Sides of my nose, not too much. Literally a tiny blob. This is just to thin out the nose a little bit more, as you can see. Sorry for always looking down on my mirror. Can you see what that's doing? And this concealer is a little bit like the foundation in the sense that you don't even need to powder it because it dries so nicely, but not too drying. Guys, I am. I'm done. In love with that contour, like what? I'm gonna put the tiniest amount of setting powder just under my eyes, I'm literally not even gonna set my face. And trust me, this never happens, I always usually set my face. But I'm literally just putting a very tiny amount of translucent powder. Um, and this one's by Ilamasca. And it's literally just going right under my eye because I, more than anything, I really hate under eye creasing. I just wanna go in with one of my eyeshadows. I used just under my eye to give a bit of definition. A little bit of that. I'm using the Naked 2 palette. Oh yeah. I'm so feeling these pinky mauve vibes right now. Okay, okay, let's move on. I've got two highlight... What are they called? They are called shimmer sticks so I'm gonna swatch them and show you guys on the back of my hand because I want you to see exactly how they look so this is the starstruck please look at that Woo! Oh, and then this one is rum and the consistency is phenomenal <laughs> I'm gonna use rum on the sides, oh my goodness. Is that me? <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm being really childish. <gasps> oh my goodness. I'm tearing up. I'm actually tearing up. <laughs> what? Wow. W w w wait, when I say wow, do you see that? Goodbye! I'm going! <laughs> Can I just say something? I've never really enjoyed these type of highlights before. <sighs> I can't calm down right now. I'm going to do the same here. Oh my gosh. I've never, ever really liked these type of stick highlights before. Oh my goodness. Let's try this here, but I feel like I need to use a lighter one on my nose. I'm going to use a lighter one on my nose because I want it to be a bit more. Oh my god. Basically, if you're my shade or darker, this is for you. This is for the lighter gals. Or even if you like a pink highlight. Do you know what? There's no rules to make up. Get whatever you like because these are just all amazing. Oh my goodness. And I love how creamy, like, blendable they are. They're not... I'm... The reason why I'm scared with these type of products, especially over-powdered foundation, I feel like it just makes makeup look cre um, streaky and stuff. Listen, I'm out of words right now. I really hope it looks how it looks like in real life on camera because it is looking... Oh! Oh! I was not ready for this. I was really not ready for this. I'm in love. I'm, in, I'm actually in love. Let's do some on my... 
keep his bow. This is what love is, guys. Oh god. Okay, so I've got more highlight here. We have two really exciting products. Trophy Wife, which is what everybody's banging on about. Oh. And this looks like my chest. But the only thing is, I have this huge crack in mine. I don't know why. Well, it's not a huge crack, but it looks like a deformity. I don't care. I'm not even going to return it because I don't have time for that shit. Listen, do you know what? Yeah. I'm going to use this. On my inner corner. Am I gonna regret this? I hope not. <gasps> it's so pigmented. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, listen, yeah. <clears throat> Whoa. Whoa! Can you guys see this? <gasps> oh, and I was almost not gonna get this. Can you imagine? Not have it. Oh my goodness. Oh my days. This is not a joke thing. This is not a joke thing. This is not a joke. I'm going to put a very small amount of that on top of my highlight. Actually, shall I allow it? I feel like I'm going to do too much. Let's allow this for a, for a second. Because I have this other highlighter and this is a duo and it looks like this hope you guys can see it clearly one of them is like a soft highlight barely their highlight the other one is like a really nice rose goldish type of highlight this is the other one so this is the rose gold shimmery one then this one is a really soft one so I'm gonna take the goldish one because this one looks stunning <gasps> guys Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Today I'm gonna look like... I'm not really a big highlighter person by the way. I feel like because I have a big face, it just does too much to my face. But today, I'm gonna look like a glazed donut. I'm proud, okay? So, just because I'm gonna be extra today, because why not? I'm gonna take a very small amount of this. And I'm gonna put it here. Oh my days. Oh my god. Okay, so with my lips, I've got this gorgeous, gorgeous lip gloss, which looks like this. So stunning. And this is in the shade Fenty Glow, and it's called a gloss bomb, and it smells amazing. Oh my goodness, it smells like. Do you know those strawberry sweets? That's what it smells like. Okay, so I'm going to start by lining my lips first. I'm using a brown lip liner because I want to accentuate my cupid's bow. I'm going to take, um, I believe this is stripped down. By Mac, and I'm gonna blend that out so it doesn't look too dark. Okay, now we're gonna put on the lip gloss. I really don't wear lip gloss, but I feel like I need to start wearing lip gloss a lot more. So I was like, let me get this lip gloss. The smell of this is just. I'm in love. This lip gloss is amazing. Rihanna, you did good. I love every single product that I got today. And this does not happen every day. I promise you, this does not happen. How could you go right 
everywhere. How? So all in all, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of all over the place. I'm just getting back to filming and I hope this could be a great start. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am so, so grateful for every single one of you and I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for always supporting me and always being there for me and always sending me your love and showing me that you care. I absolutely love you guys so, so, so much. You don't even understand how much I do. And I would like to leave here by saying I hope you all have an amazing day or night or morning whenever you're watching this and thank you for all my new subscribers and if you're not subscribed to me already please please hit that subscribe button and I'll be so so thankful. Thank you so much. May God bless you all and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.